I have something really great I want to share with you today. This tool that I'm going to share you, it's more of a framework, but it's pretty much going to level up the efficiency of your coders, whether you're a coder or you're running a team of coders. This is, pr is like so profound in using AI. It's called the BMAD method. And basically what the BMAD method is, is a group of agents that a software engineer has set up. And this group of agents, what they do is if they actually act as an agile team. So you have the scrum master, you have the developers, the designers, and this expert in crafting these agents has built specific personas for each agent. And they all work together through this orchestrated platform that this engineer has built. And basically what it does is, is rather than you just going ahead and building like vibe coding right from scratch, this new method is like agile development with agents. It's incredible. It literally makes development so much easier and you're actually going to finish projects. You're actually going to get to the end. And so I'm really excited to show you exactly how it works. So let's dive right in and get it going. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go npx bmad method install. And then it's going to ask us which directory we want to install it in. So we can just press dot slash and it will install it right in the directory that we're in. And then you're just going to click yes, yes, yes. And then it's going to ask which code editor you want to use. So you're just going to go down to I'm using GitHub, but you can also use cursor or cloud code, but we'll continue with GitHub for now. And then you're just going to press continue. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a folder inside your project and it's going to have all of your agents. And so you can see for each agent it has like a description of what the agent is, what it does, its persona. And this takes a long time to craft. This just saves a lot of time for you as the developer. There's the project manager agent, the developer agent, X design agent, and there's also an orchestrator layer that has all of these agents pass information to each other. So you don't have to worry about any of that. So just going here now to the right side of the screen, I started by talking with the analyst agent. And if you can see from here, you can just toggle which agent you're talking to and you just go keep going back and forth and you're setting up the project and that ends up creating a project brief document. So if you go to the docs folder, you can see brief, and this is the high level overview of what your project is going to do. And then this next step is passing the brief off to the project manager agent. And then the project manager agent will create the PRD or the project requirements document. And this is a little bit more technical. It's broken down into epics, stories, and architecture. And then after that, the project manager agent is going to pass on this information to the architect agent and the architect agent will create the database structure and the folder structure for your app. So let's just go here and look at that. So this is, as you can see, it's a very detailed structure for the app. And this is just going to give rails for the app development so that you're not running into errors or building branches that don't connect or talk to each other. So as you continue to build, once the architecture and the brief is done, you can then go to the UX design agent and then they will fill in all a design spec for your app. So it's always having consistent design. I didn't do this for this project. I just went directly to the developers. But then as you can see, it's the PM handing off to the architect, but then you can go into the development process. So in agile software development, the development cycle is broken into epics. So it was broken into three epics with subtasks for each epic. If we go to the project requirements document, we can see each epic and we can see the subtasks under each epic. This just really helps with following the guidance for the developer agents. And you can see it's just building all this and we're going back and forth. One skill that will be important as you continue to 
develop with these agents is the ability to switch tasks effectively and work on something else for three to four minutes while the agent is doing work. I've set up notifications so that when the agent has finished its work, it will notify me. And you can add that in VS Code settings. This is, the agent has now essentially completed its work. It made all these files, all this development within the project framework in giving me the checkboxes. Near the end, I did have to send it some screenshots because some of the things were not working, but it did essentially make a end-to-end -end app. And so let's just go ahead and see what that app looked like. Oh, okay, so this is what the app made. It gave us a sign in and sign up, very simple. So I've already signed up so we can sign in here. And then you have your goals, projects, tasks, etc. If I use the UI design agent, it probably would have given it a better UI. But as you can see, you can add goals. And then within those goals, you can add projects that will be tied to the goal. So basically what the agent did is it created a relational database that will connect the goals to the projects and setting priorities. And then if you go back to your dashboard, you can manage tasks and create tasks. So then you choose the project that we just created. And all this is connected. And this is just in one shot. And there's a lot more tweaking you can do. Essentially, the nice thing of this whole process is that you're spending a lot of time up front creating the scaffolding around the app so that you can just go ahead and develop following the guidance of the plan without having to fix as many errors because it's much easier to debug when you have the full picture in mind before you start building. So that's the BMAP method. It's really powerful. It helps you get from that 90% completion to 100% with your app development. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll post my information in the chat and looking forward to connecting.